If you're getting deeper into hunting, you're going to want a list of DNS servers to support your other tools. You get much better results from a mass, subfinder, even interlaced workflows, adding a list of resolvers to essentially support your hunting. So Vortex and I, we faced this problem and we couldn't find a good tool to solve it for us. So we teamed up and we wrote DNS Validator. So what DNS Validator does is it performs query validation for these servers. It benchmarks them. So you can do one of two things. You can run it with the default configuration and it'll build out a list of clean DNS servers for you. Or you can pass it a list of DNS servers and it'll run a variety of checks and clean out the malicious ones for you. Now, what do I mean by malicious? Um, essentially, there's a lot of public DNS servers out there that intentionally poison results and give you really horrible mix of false positives when you're hunting. And interestingly, some of them only go malicious for small windows of time. So you might have a good DNS server for a month and then suddenly for an hour it's malicious, which will skew out your results. So the best way to overcome that is to use a tool like DNS Validator, pass it your resolvers list in a schedule and have it regularly cleaning, ch checking and making sure your list is reliable. And so I've done that with a cron job in a VPS. Um, I recommend doing the same. If you're not quite sure how to do that, I'm planning on doing a few videos soon on how to set up a VPS for hunting purposes. If you already know how to do that, great. That's a really good approach. And I'd encourage you to dig into and ha have a look at this tool and how it's operating.